at some practical examples of uh, the RSA uh, public key encryption method. So you should find if you go to this link here, uh, there should be a basic calculator that takes you through some examples. Just generate some random numbers and it should go through the calculations. And hopefully you should always get the same decrypted message as you have for your message. So uh, there are some examples at the bottom here. So if you try and click say here, then you should find for a p-value of 7, q of 13, e of 5, a message of 10, you should get a cipher of 82. And then you can check that with the with the reference here. Okay, so that should give you the, the same values. So what we'll do is we'll try some calculations to see uh, if they if they work out. So in this case we'll just copy this link here onto it. Okay, so our first one is a p value of eleven and then we have a q value of three and an E value we're going to select is, is 3 and our message is going to be a 4. OK, so uh, we can bring up the calculator if we want. So the N value is P times Q, it's obviously 33. The 5 value is 10 times 2, which is 20. So we select the our encryption key to be relatively primed uh, to these values. So we'll select 3. Okay, relatively prime to five there. So next, uh, what would what we need to do is to find a value that three times the decryption value mod twenty. That's twenty for five is equal to one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six doesn't work. Seven, seven works. So that's our decryption key. So our encryption key is thirty three and three and our decryption key is 33 and 7. So we take our cipher message, in this case we've got 4, and we raise it to the power of our encryption key. So y to the x of 3, and then we take mod of 33. Oops, let's try that again. Okay, so we take 4 uh, to the power of 3 and then we take mod 33 and that gives us 31 okay so you should find that is what we get there so there's our encrypted message so we take 31 and we raise it to the power of 7 which is our decryption key and that's a big value this time and mod 33 and as if by magic we get four back again okay so that's showing you uh, that one so this time we'll take another example in fact we'll just go past this one we'll go to a one with larger numbers okay so there's some quite big numbers in this one so i just show you it should work there too okay so we'll try this one okay so these are quite big values for a calculator so we've got 47 times 71 equals 3337. That's that over here. And then we take one off each one. So it's 46 times 70 equals, so it's 3220. Okay, so that gives us that. So we select our E value again to be relative to prime and we'll select 79 in this case. So for uh, 79 times D, so we can do a calculation to be able to prove that uh, the D value is, is correct for that. Okay, so then if we take that times that and then we do mod 3, 2, to 0, we get 1. Okay, so that's our value here for our D value. So our encryption key is 3337, which we get from there, and our 79, and our decryption key is 3337-1019. So let's try a message of 668 to the power of 79 
equals oh it's a big value but then we'll take our mod of three 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 seven just let's see what we get here just to check okay let's try that again so we'll just cancel and it's six eight eight to the power of and we'll just check 79 equals and then we'll take a, a mod and it's three 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 seven equals one five seven zero okay so we'll just cancel that one five zero zero one five seven zero to the power of one zero one nine and then mod three 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 seven and we get our message back again okay so that's giving you some examples uh, so uh, in terms of testing then might add might ask some of the first things around these calculations maybe some of the end bits but obviously there's a bit of selection there of the E value and the D value okay so if you want to have a look then the examples are there and all the references are there and the calculator should actually work